In this game, a couple of millimetres could prove to be the difference between victory and defeat. Do any of today's players have the precision to win £10,000? It's time to find out on Tippy Point. <laughs> Welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm George, a tour guide assistant from Essex. I'm Claire, a head teacher from Bath. And I'm Shaz, a shopkeeper from Greater Manchester. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or, if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But, also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with a jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Wow. Now, all three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So do keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Right, everybody ready? Yep. Yes. And new buzzers, here comes your first question. The 2021 ITV documentary celebrating the 30th anniversary of a character played by Rowan Atkinson is called... George. Mr Bean. Happy birthday, Mr Who. Yes, Mr Bean is absolutely right, George. So you get the first correct answer, so you can make the first choice. Would you like to play or pass the first counter, George? What do you reckon? I think I might pass it to Claire, please, if that's right a good then. Ben. Of course. Claire, you get to launch the machine. Great. Where do you think you can get some money from, Claire? Um, I think I'm going to start with Drop Zone 1, please. Well, let's do it. Drop Zone 1 for Claire. <laughs> Nicely timed, Claire. Slow, bouncy drop. Yep. Get that flat, hopefully. Yeah. Nice and flat. Get a good squeeze on the double, maybe a couple of counters. Are we going to get anything over or are we just going to split these, Claire? I'm not sure. Yeah, Ooh. just splitting the columns, sadly. A little bit on both, not enough on either. So nothing mm. from your first drop. Still got two left, Claire. Here's your next question. Which large, hard and hairy-shelled fruit comes from a tree that is the only species of the Cocos genus of palm family? Shaz. Coconut. It is the coconut, Shaz, yes. Now, would you like to play Shaz or would you like to pass? I think I'll play uh, drop zone one, please. Let's do it. Fire up one, please. Oh, took a little rebound there, Shaz. Are we going to get anything over the top shelf? It's nice and flat. And a couple do go through. The mystery going to get a little nudge. And one sneaks into the wind zone. Well done. £50 for you there, Shaz. You get the ball rolling. Let's take that from the machine. Put it into your bank. Put you on £50. You've got two counters still to play. Here's your next question. In 1975, David Steele won the BBC Sports Personality of the Year after making his England debut in which bat and ball sport? Shaz. Cricket. It was cricket, yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, Shaz, are you going to play again? I will. Drop zone one again, please. Fire up one, please. <laughs> now, that's nearer Claire's counters that she left. Get on the double there. And a little squeeze. Oh, and there's some more. Oh. There's one that's circled all the way in. That's a nice drop for you, Chad. A couple nice. more. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Seven counters this time. Very nice. £350 for you, Chad. <laughs> Let's take that and put it in your bank. It's going to put you on £400. You've still got one counter left to play. Next question. Which Gallagher brother and former member of Oasis released the 2021 single, We're On Our Way Now, with his band, <laughs> Hi, George? Noel Gallagher. High Flying Birds. It was Noel. Yes, you're absolutely right, George. Now, you ready to play this time or are you going to pass again? Um, I'll play this time, please, Ben. Where'd you fancy going? Drop Zone 2 this time. OK, let's try Drop Zone 2 for George, please. Let's see if we can get something here for you, George. Nicely timed on the release. Good settle for you. Anything coming over the top? Hopefully you get the black and silver one. Oh, no! Ah. Right, Clay, just split those two columns. They look better now, but they're going to need a bit more help, George. Sadly, nothing yep. from your first drop. That's fine. Here's your next question. 
the construction of which iconic Parisian tower began in 18... <laughs> Shaz. The Eiffel Tower. 1887 and was completed two years, two months and five days later. The Eiffel Tower is absolutely right, Shaz. Now, you're going to play your last counter or are you going to pass to Claire or George? I'll play Drop Zone 2, please. Drop Zone 2 it is. Shaz's last counter. Can you get any more, Shaz? Oh, that's right where George's mm. went. That looks like it's going to take out the top shelf. Yeah, it Ooh. does. Yes. It's going to be broad, wide shove. Another nice drop, Shaz. Well done, Shaz. You. Well done. Seven counters for you, Shaz. £350. A couple of lovely drops for you. Let's take that and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on £750. You have now used all three counters, so for the time being, Shaz, you are out. Right, Claire and George, the two of you have got two counters left to play each. Here's your next question. In 2021, Walkers released Zinger. Claire. Crisps? Mm, I was going to go on to say Zinger Flavour Crisps in partnership with which major high street fried chicken chain? It was KFC. KFC. Claire. Went a bit too early, I'm afraid. Gave me the wrong answer, so I steal a counter from you. That's, That's going okay. into the penalty pot. You'll all get to play for that at the end of the round. Penalty pot? That's OK. <laughs> you can still get it back, though. You can still get it back. Got one counter left to play. Here's your next question. In the 1964 film Goldfinger, which spy asks a flight attendant for a martini? George. James Bond. Shaken, not stirred. It is James Bond. Of course it is, George. Nicely done. Would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'll play this time, please, Ben. Where do you want to go? Drop some two, please. Fire up two for us. All oh, right, can we get you some money and get you in the game here, George? Hopefully those two on the edge there will... Oh, it's filled the gap. Oh! Found another gap, George. That's so cruel. So nothing from your second drop. Like Claire, you've got one counter left to play. Okay. Here's your next question, the two of you. Which sensory organ of the human body follows the word shut in a commonly used informal term? Claire. Eyes. Formal term for sleeping. Yes, shut eyes, shut eyes. I can accept. Right then, Claire, you've got one counter. Do you one, want to play or do you um, want to pass? I think I'll go for drop zone two, please, Ben. Let's do it. Drop zone two for Claire. Right. Get your timing right here, Claire. We need yep. as much as we can to this get you in the it. game. Heavy settle over there on the left. Oh, there's a couple in the middle that have gone too. That's how close they were. Fast. They're the ones that George left. Ah, that's a lovely drop that was you, Claire. Well done. Oh, well done, Thank Claire. Thank you. Thank you. Eight counters for you, Claire. That's more like it, isn't it? Yes. £400. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's all three of your counters used, Claire. So for the time being, you're out. Right, George, it's just you. Because just you, you don't need to use your buzzer. Yep, you do fine. need to give me the correct answer to this question to put this last counter into the machine. OK. Here we go, then. Mounted in the British Imperial State Crown, Cullinan II is what type of precious stone? Mm, diamond. It is a diamond, George. Oh, yes. Good guess. Well Lovely. done. Right, one last count for you. Where do we want to put it? What looks like it's going to pay out there, George? I think I'll go for drop some one, please, Ben. Yeah, down this side over here where the mystery is. Fire up one, please. Could be interesting. Good luck. Yeah. Can we get you some money? The left looks good. Get over to the yeah. left. There you go. Oh, now. Mm. Don't be a rider. We don't want it to ride, do we? Is it going to ride? Get flat. Oh, it's ah, it is. I wonder, oh. though, George, that silver counter's quite close. If it squeezes it enough. Oh, yes, it Hang might on. still go. go. Come on now, George. Is the mystery going to go? Oh, oh no, George, oh, no. That's so cruel. Goodness me. Unlucky, you managed George. to get your rider working, but those few on the tipping point weren't quite ready, I'm afraid. So, as things stand, Shaz has £750, Claire has £400, George has got nothing in the bank, but it's not over. We have one counter up for grabs in the penalty pot, so I'm going to ask you all one more question. Yep. You buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put this counter into the machine. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Good luck, all of you. Here comes your penalty pot question. How many vowels are there in the word medallion? George. Three. There's four, hard luck. M-E-D-A-L-L-I-O-N is four. You had to go for it, didn't you? Yeah. Sadly, you knew you were running out of yeah. time and you guessed three, so we have to freeze you out. That's fine. Claire and Shaz, here comes your second penalty pot question. Meaning a shade of brown, the word tan is an anagram of which insect? That Claire. Ant. That lives in colonies. It is <laughs> ant. You Sorry. really weren't <laughs> going to be beaten to that one, Claire. Well done, you've won your counter back. 
which means you get to put okay. it into the machine. Where do you want to go? Um, I'm going to go for drop zone one. Fire up drop zone one. They look even closer, don't they? Now, is that too far? Where's it going? A bit bouncy. It was bouncy. Is it going to arrive B flat? Oh, it's flat. That's OK. You need a good squeeze to get the double yep. down here. Is it going to go? No, no, it's just moved laterally, sadly. Hard luck, Not Claire. You did the hard work, which was winning the counter. Yeah. Sadly, the machine didn't want to give anything out. So the scores stay as they were, which means Shaz is leading with £750. Claire has £400. George has got nothing in the bank just yet. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. If you'd like a brand new Tipping Point experience, then why not try Tipping Point Blast? You can download it on Google Play and the App Store for free and play wherever you are, whenever you like. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where George, Claire and Shaz are battling out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will win them a count to play into the machine. However, this time the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Uh, so, Shaz, you are leading after round one, which means you have the power to decide. Would you like to play first or would you like Claire or George to go first? Uh, I think I'll go first, thank you. OK, then. 45 seconds for Shaz, please. The time starts now. The country of Finland is located on which continent? Europe. Correct. Deutsche Schäferhund and Alsatian are alternative names for the breed of dog also known as a German what? Shepherd. Correct. Which stage musical features the songs Jolly Holiday and Practically Perfect? Pass. Mary Poppins. A Dance with Dragons is a 2011 novel by which US fantasy author? Um. Pass. George R.R. R. Martin. The Italian term prosciutto is used in English to describe thin slices of which dry cured pork product? Ham. Correct. When written out numerically, what is the first digit of the mathematical constant known as pi? Three. Correct. What was the first name of the former Prime Minister who became Old Baldwin of Budley in 1937? Stanley. It was Stanley. Out of time, though, Shaz, sadly, with that one. Did get four right, though. Four counters put into the machine. So where would you like to start? I think I'll try drop zone one, please. Let's have drop zone one for Shaz, please. Ooh, nice. Come on, over on the right-hand side. Come on. Anything coming over here, let's see. Come on. Oh, Ooh, it's going to make you work a bit harder there, Shaz. <laughs> Double's very it close. Time. <laughs> Still got three more to go. Stay with one. Yes, please. Fire it up, please. <laughs> nice. That is oh. surely oh. Had one drop into two, but that's just riding. That doubles down now, though. Is the mystery going to go? It is. Yeah. Well oh, done. Nice drop. Great. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Nine for you there, Shaz. 450 pounds. And you've won yourself a prize nestling there in the wind zone. You've won a bottomless brunch with performances from West End Stars, courtesy of West End Musical Brunch. Fantastic. That's, that's lovely, That's isn't it? lovely. Thank Still you. Still got two more counters to go in, Shaz. So what do you right. fancy doing? Staying with one, going to move somewhere else? I think I'll go with drop zone three, Ben. OK, let's try three, please. Oh, dear. Oh, Shaz, your timing was a bit off then. Have you got away with it, though? Uh, Is it going to be flat? Yes, yes, you have. Let's see. Anything coming over the top shelf here? Oh, Not used well done, three yet. All three counters across. Oh! <laughs> They're shuffling and dangling along the tipping left. point, Shaz. You've got one more to go. <laughs> stay with three. Uh, yes, please. I'd love to stay on three. Fire up three, please. In the middle. That feels right on the counter you've yep. left. If the top shelf goes for you, Shaz. Oh, yes. Well done, Shaz. Thank you. There you go. Oh, nice. Five more for you there, Shaz. Another £250. Thank you. So you get a haul of £700. Let's take that and put it into your bank, and that's going to leave you on £1,450. Very nicely done. That's good. Right, Claire, we come to you. You're ahead of George now, yes. so it's your choice. You can play next if you think the machine's ready. Alternatively, you could ask George to play before you. I'm going to play, please, okay. Ben. OK, 45 seconds for Claire, please. The time starts now. Dessert, tea and soup are all varieties of which item of cutlery? Spoons. Correct. In a 2021 by-election, the seat of Hartlepool was won for the first time by which political party? Labour. Conservative. 
The town of Funchal is the capital of which Atlantic island group? C Cook Islands? Madeira. The films Requiem for a Dream and The Exorcist and Pieces of a Woman feature which Oscar-winning actress? Pass. Ellen Burstyn. In the team game Polo Cross, which combines elements of polo and lacrosse, players ride which equine animal? Horse. Correct. When fully ripe, a quince has bright skin of which primary colour? Orange. Yellow. First aired in 2021, the documentary series Meet the Khans, Big in Bolton, follows the life of which famous boxer? Amir Khan. Correct. You got your reality TV show question yeah, right, Yeah, I got my primary colours wrong. Your that's primary a bit, colours that's wrong. a bit awkward to come back to school. <laughs> <laughs> three correct answers. Every day's a school day. So you're giving yourself three chances to try and get something from the machine. Where do you want to start? Drop zone three, please. Let's try three for Claire, please. Thank you. Here you go, Claire. Nicely timed. Down. Down. Oh, oh, I didn't want to sit for you. Is oh, it going to go flat, it down. please? Get a little nudge. It is flat, yes. yes. Flat. OK. Oh, oh no. Couldn't wait, could it, Claire? I'm sorry. But okay. a couple did manage to peel themselves off the top shelf. Yes, well done. Four across the bottom. Well done, that's £200. Two more to go, Claire. What are you thinking now? I'm going to stick with drop zone three, please. Fire up three, please. Good position, mm. but oh. how is it going to sit? Let's hope it goes is flat. Is it flat? Oh, oh it's riding. riding. Oh. That's a no. shame. It is a shame. And if we can get anything, I'm not sure we will. No. Mm. One more. You've got one more to go in. Yeah. Okay. Pressure one now. Staying with three? Yes, please. Stop Thank so you. Drop three, please. Oh, that's Ooh. better. Gonna okay. settle at least. Yes, that was please. better. Now, are you gonna get the double or are you gonna leave it to George? Oh, oh, come on. I'm not sure the double's gonna come gonna out. It's gonna get close, but... isn't it? It's gonna get close. Oh! oh no. Look at that right on the Teetering edge. Teetering on the edge. Oh, Claire, I'm sorry. That's okay. Just the 200 pounds. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. That's gonna leave you on 600 pounds. Right then, George, we come to you. 45 seconds for George, please. Your time starts now. The word guns is often used as a slang term for which upper limbs of the human body? Arms. Correct. Reese's Book Club was launched in 2017 by which star of the film Legally Blonde? Reese Witherspoon. Correct. The Rugby Union Five Nations Championship was renamed as the Six Nations when which European team joined in 2000? Italy. Correct. The name of the rose is a 1980 novel by which author? Pass. Umberto Eco. The flag of the European Union consists of a circle of 12 gold stars on a background of which primary colour? Blue. Correct. In 1985, Simple Minds had a UK top ten single with the song Alive and What? Kicking. Correct. Typically depicted playing the flute, Krishna is a major deity in which world religion? Greek. Hinduism. <laughs> what is the name of the egg-shaped fruit that is native to South America and known avocado. colloquially as a... No, it's not an avocado, it's a tamarillo. Fair enough. A South American known colloquially as a tree tomato. It's a tamarillo. Uh, you've got five correct answers, though, George. Excellent, Ben. Really well good done. response. Well Cheers. done. You're giving yourself a chance because you've got five counters. Your challenge is to try and catch Claire. Yes. Uh, to do that, you need to get 12 counters out, which is six and a double. I'm going to go for drop zone three, please, Ben. Let's do it. Fire up three, please. OK, hammers down on the mm. left. There's a nice little Let's gathering between two and three there. Let me get you anything to get you started. Oh, that's a lovely start, George. Fine, you've got you some it. money. Well done. Six counters. £300 is a great start. Half the deficit. You need six more now. What are you thinking now, George? Drop some three again, please, Ben. Three again, please. <laughs> Further right for the double. Oh. Oh, wrong side. Bottom shelf's a bit empty that side. We need this to go left as it comes down. We laterally go left. Might fill the gap. Yeah, oh. might, might get a couple. Yeah, two drop in. Well done. Another hundred pounds, George. Takes to four hundred in the machine. Three more to go, George. Okay. What are you thinking now? Drop on three again, please, Ben. Three again, please. Try and get the double out. We need it on the right, don't we? Can you get it? Oh, oh that's better. There you oh, go. Yes. Gone in the right spot. Two with Just the double. Did catch Claire? Oh, they've separated oh. two. Are they going to go? Oh, down it down. The double's oh. still there. It's another two across the tipping point, George. You are creeping ever closer. 
You're up to 500 pounds in the machine. You've got two more counters still to go in. What are you thinking now? Gonna have to go with drop zone three again, Ben. Drop zone three, fire it up, please. Down the right-hand side, it's gotta be. The rest is pretty sparse. Come on. Oh, George, I'm not sure. Bit of lateral could send it over. You want it to go with a few, though. That's a gap there. Mm. George, no! Oh, Claire can't watch. It comes down to this drop, George. We still need two more to catch Claire. Anything less than you're going home? Got to go three again, please, Ben. Power up three for George, please. What can we get this last drop? It's that side. Right. Is the top shelf going to oh. work? I'm not sure. Can he get enough, George? No! Oh, George, no! Oh, no! Oh, George. The machine. Never mind. George, you did an amazing job with the questions. Five is a really, really good return. You just sadly left yourself too much to do to try and catch Claire. 500 pounds, as close as it is, not going to be enough. Let's take it yeah. and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Shaz is leading with 1,450 pounds. Claire sneaks through by the skin of her teeth with 600 pounds. George, I'm so sorry. You've been absolutely fantastic. You battled really hard. But with £500, I'm afraid we have found your ticket point. Thanks oh. for playing, George. Ben, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me on the show, and good luck to you both in the next round. Thank you, Thank George. You, Thanks, George. George. Thanks for coming and taking part. You've been a superstar. So it is Claire and Shaz who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Claire and Shaz. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about Thank to find you. out which one is going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. So in this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the count into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the count into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be playing for our jackpot. They will be our winner. Uh, so Shaz, as you are leading, you can choose. Would you like the first question or would you like to offer it to Claire? No, I'll take the first question, please. Okay, first one for you, Shaz. Artist Steve McQueen's 2019 photography project featuring seven and eight year olds is named after which English primary school year? You could pass this if you wanted to to the head teacher next to you. I will pass. I have, a, I have a feeling that Claire's going to know this, but I'll pass it. Shaz doesn't know. Right, Claire. Seven and eight is year three. You're going to go with year three? I'm going to go with year three. She's going with year three. Shaz, year three? Would you have ever got to year three? I would not have known a, a, a clue. I you wouldn't didn't have, have a chance. Not right, to Claire, for. let's see if you're right. You need this. Is the answer year three? Yes, of course it oh. is. <laughs> it's a great, great steal from Shaz. You get the counter, yeah. Claire, because you're right. You need 17 counts to catch Shaz. Drops on three. Going for three? Yes, please. All right, three, please. It's got to be on the right, hasn't it? It's going to be on the right. It's going to be on the right, isn't it? Oh. No. OK, so let's see if we can get anything here. Maybe mm -hmm. a bit of lateral movement. It's so finely poised, that double. It's not going to take much. No. We need it to go with a few, though. Just Squeeze give it a bit of a there. shove over. That would be great. Oh, no. Oh, oh a few. Yeah, oh. not bad oh, in hey. the end, Claire. Gosh, well yes. Seven counters, Claire. Let's give you £350. That's okay. nice. On the steel, let's take that, put it into your bank. Which were £950 and takes a nice chunk out of the lead. You keep control as well, Claire. Time for your first question. Located off the Russian Kamchatka Peninsula, the Sea of Ohotsk is part of which large ocean? Now, you can pass this to Shaz if you're not sure. Do you think you know? No, I'm okay. going to pass it, but I think Shaz probably does know. Right then, Shaz. Have you heard of the Russian Kamchatka? No, I haven't. I can't no. even pronounce it. No, me neither, and I'm reading it out loud. <laughs> uh, I wish I knew whereabouts in Russia it was, because it's such a large country. Yeah. Um, it's, it's either the Arctic or the uh, Pacific. I'll go with the Arctic Ocean. You're going with the Arctic? Yes. OK. Claire, what were you thinking? I would have gone Pacific. You might have gone Pacific. Yeah. Let's see if Shaz is right. If you have, you've stolen this counter, but that double's still right on the edge. Is the answer the Arctic? No. Oh. It is the Pacific. 
Oh, you would have been right, Claire, if you've gone with Pacific. Okay. It's on the east coast of Russia. Shaz, hard luck. Good try. Claire, you get the counter. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can close that gap further. Drops on three, please. Let's go three again. Oh, oh another one on the left. She is. Does not want to know about that right-hand side just yet, does it? No. Nope. It's just rinsed this side as well, so I think it's going to draw a blank. Oh, a little nudge mm. and a squeeze. But it's holding on, so no damage done there. Right, Shaz, we come back to you. Time for your second question. Composers for the 2020 film Soul, Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross are most famously members of which rock band formed in 1988? You can play or pass this to Claire if you're not sure. I'll pass to Claire. <laughs> <laughs> right. Claire. I don't know. I'm going to have a guess. So, rock band a formed rock in band. 1988. Um, for some reason, and it's, it's probably completely wrong, Led Zeppelin. So you're going with Led Zeppelin? Yes. Shaz, 1988 rock band. Oh, gosh, I haven't a clue, honestly. You wouldn't have known where to go? No. Claire's gone with Led Zeppelin. Definitely a rock band. Were they formed in the 80s, the late 80s at that? Is the answer Led Zeppelin? <laughs> Led Zeppelin formed in 1968. Yeah. Oh, so that's a good uh, couple of decades yeah. out. Uh, Nine Inch Nails oh. is the name of the band. Shaz, the good news is you get the counter. What do you fancy doing with this then, Shaz? Um, Drop zone four, please, Ben. Right, Shaz is going to try coming from the other side. Fire up four, please. George and Claire battered three. It didn't go. It's four the answer. Or is it going to go right? Oh, oh four there you could go. be the answer. There you go. A bit of lateral on it. Is the double finally going to succumb? Yes. Oh, oh it is. Oh. Shaz, Brilliant. That's well the done, way. Shaz. Thank you. Well done. Shaz, 10 counts across the tipping point. Goodness me, £500. You know when to strike, don't you? I and did, the double yeah. goes as well. Let's double up and give you another £500. It's £1,000 right there. Let's take wow. it and put it into your bank. That's great. Thank you. It's going to put That's you on £2,450, Shaz. Right then, Claire, we come back to you. Time for your second question. Set in a fictional place called Cornucopia, King Fred the Fearless is the first chapter of which book by J.K. Rowling? Pass. Straight pass. That's Not even going to pretend. Clear cut. Yeah. Shaz. Shaz. Do you know any books by J.K. Rowling? Yeah, the Harry Potter books. But this is a... Not from Harry Potter, I don't think. Um, I'm sure she did a book about something to do with travelling. But I, I can't remember. I'll have to go with Harry Potter, but I, I, I can't remember. The... Got to go with Harry Potter? I'll go with Harry Potter. OK, let's find out what the answer is. Was it Harry Potter? No, no. it's the Ichabog. 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 Uh, Claire, you get the counter, cos Shaz was wrong. So, sure. what should we do with this one? Drop zone two, please, Ben. Let's have two. Fire it up, please. Need it on the right machine. Not too far away. Can we get that black counter down at the front? No, the silver Ooh, one might yes, help, though. Yes. Bit of lateral on it. There you go. Oh, two counters sneak in for you, Claire. You've got a little bit of movement. £100 for those two. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. It's going to put you in £1,050. Right, Shaz, we come to you. Time for your third and final question. Queen Elizabeth II celebrated her Ruby Jubilee in which year? You can play or pass this to Claire if you're not sure. 1993. Ooh. OK, you've gone straight in with 1993. Could have had a little uh, think about it. I think it. it was 1993, because I'm sure she was crowned in 1953. So, yeah, I'd go with 1993. 1993? Yeah. OK. If Shaz had passed this to you, Claire, what would you have said? Well, he sounds very confident, 1993, <laughs> so, um, yeah, 1993. If you're right, Shaz, you get another counter. If you're wrong, Claire, you get the counter. <laughs> Is the answer 1993? Ooh. It was 1992. Oh! Uh, the Jubilee celebrates the accession to the throne, not the coronation. Not the coronation. So the coronation <laughs> was 53, but the accession was in 1952. <laughs> Shaz, hard luck. You were very, very confident, sadly. Just out. Oh, so, well, Blair, you get another counter here. Where do you want to go? Drop zone two, please, Ben. Let's have two. I'll give you another chance. Yeah, we'll chat, catch up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Not They've playing not for you in the minute, They've is it? not landed very they nicely. Landed at all. There's a little double and one that might get a little nudge. 
Oh, it's a nice drop nonetheless. Claire, well done. Thank you. Six counters, Claire. Let's give you £300. Take that from the machine and put it into your bank. It's going to put you on £1,350. And you've got one more question, Claire. Time for your third and final one. Yep. When Theresa May became Prime Minister in 2016, who replaced her as Home Secretary? Now, you can pass this to Shaz if you're not sure. Do you think Shaz will know? Yeah, I think Shaz will know. But I'm going to pass it. You're going to pass it anyway? Yes. Shaz, what do you remember about the government in 2016? Oh, I honestly can't remember. I'll, I'll go with Liz Truss. Liz Truss? Yeah. OK. Claire, has it come to you? Have you no, had any thoughts? I, I don't think it's Liz Truss, no, but it's not no. come to me. Let's see if Shaz is right. Is the answer Liz Truss? No. It was a woman. It's Amber Rudd. Amber, oh, Rudd. Amber Rudd. Rudd replaced her as Home Secretary. I knew there was you in it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> right, one last counter for you. Where do you fancy going with this one? Trying to get that mystery out? I'm going to try. Yeah, let's yes, give it. Yes, please. Drop zone two. Fire it up, please. Need it on the right, don't we? That's better. Oh. Might now, have a chance. We need that two that are just peeking over the edge to take a little nudge. Are we going to get them? Oh, oh, Claire. So close to being right on the money. There's a bit of movement on it, though. Come on now. Yes. Go down. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Not to be. Uh, Claire, sadly, it wasn't to be, as you say. You battled really hard, but I'm afraid you've just come up short. Shaz, very well played. Thank you very £2, much. £2,450, you are Thank today's you. winner. You've played a great game. Well done, Thank you. you. Uh, Claire, you've been brilliant fun. I've loved it, but I'm afraid with £1,350, we have found your tipping point. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you for having me. I've had a great time. It's been lovely to meet you. So, Shaz, as our champion, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot count. This one right here into right. the machine. It's bigger and better than all those other ones, though, because this one, if you get it out, it's worth £10,000. Right. Can Shaz master the machine by finding a jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tim Point. Shaz is our winner today and has managed to get £2,450, which is a lovely amount of money, Shaz. Yes, thank you. You've played thank a you. cracking game, done a brilliant job all the way through, a couple of lovely drops along the way, and now here you are about to take on the machine for our jackpot counter. If we were to get the jackpot out, Shaz, any idea what you might like to do with it? Well, I'm having my flat renovated at the moment. Right. So uh, the vast majority of that would go on that. I'd also like to donate 10% to the, the heart charity at Withenshaw Hospital. They did a fantastic job on my heart. What a lovely thing to do. Well, look, fingers crossed we get you as much as we possibly can, because I know that they're going to be thrilled to bits with benefiting from that sort of donation. Yes. That would be really special, and you can go home and do some renovations as well. That's so right. best of luck, Shaz. Thank you very much, thank you. Time to find out whether Shaz is going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get it out again. If you want right. to go home with £20,000, there is still a double mm. on the bottom shelf of drop zone one. See if you can get them to fall together. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. Right. The category you choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play four, the harder the question will be. Right. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. Right then. OK. Where do you fancy putting the jackpot counter, Shaz? Uh, I think I'll put it in um, drop zone one, please, Ben. Let's do it. Fire up one, please. There we go, we're nice and flat. Just towards the left of centre. OK, nice. Filling up that top shelf very nicely. And hopefully, as that jackpot counter goes over the top shelf, gather the double and take it with it. Let's have a look at your categories then, Shaz. This is what we've got for you. Film, history, food and drink, science, sport and music. You can play them in any order. So where do you want to start for how many? I'm terrible at sport, terrible at music. Uh, I think I'll just play them in order. Top to bottom? Top to bottom. So film for how many? Three counters, please. Film for three, please. In 2021, which actor won an Oscar for his role in Judas and the Black Messiah? Chadwick Boseman, Riz Ahmed or Daniel Kaluuya? Um, it's, this is a complete guess, this, Ben. Have uh, you heard of the I'm, film Judas and the Black Messiah? I haven't, no. I'll go with Daniel Kaluuya. Kaluuya? Yes. OK, we're going to load up Daniel Kaluuya, please. Let's see if you're right. Judas and the Black Messiah. Was it Daniel Kaluuya? He did indeed. Best supporting actor. Really? Well done. <laughs> Great start. Three counters. Drop zone one? Yeah, it drops on one, please. Light yes. it up. Drop zone one. <laughs> OK, so it didn't settle for us. Let's see if we can get it flat, though. Maybe move that silver one into two. Yeah, that's down. 
anything going to come out here for you, Chaz? Squeeze it on. OK. Two more to go. One again? Uh, yes, please. Drop someone, please. Well, that's not far off. That is not far off. Drive it forward. Nice, nice. Just go either side of the double. Good. Lovely. Six counters for you there. Oh, 300 good. pounds. Takes us up to... 2,750. One more to go in. I'll go drop zone one again, please, Ben. One again, please. A bit more central. We can get that jackpot counter moving. Oh, not that way. Anything coming over the top shelf. Flips. Couple over the bottom, maybe into two. Yeah, there you go. Another 100 yeah, pounds. Yeah, thank you. Money goes up nicely. 2,850. Got a little nudge on the jackpot counter, so it's a good start. Let's go back to the categories. We're heading from top to bottom, so history is next. next, yeah. History for how many? Three. three history again, for please. three, please. The political protest known as the Boston Tea Party took place in what year? 1773, 1803, or 1863? I'm going to guess at 1773, Ben. Please. Should we light it up? Yes. yes January 1773? Yes. Gone with the earliest year. Did it happen in 1773? Yes. Another look. It was guess. a protest over taxes and they threw loads of tea well, into the, the harbour. Ships, yeah. wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. That. That's right. Well done. Another correct answer. Another three counters. Drop zone one again, please, Ben. Drop zone one, please. Go on. Nearly. Nearly, nearly. It might straighten it up a touch. It might. Yeah, it's just a slight thing. fraction. Okay, two more to go in. Drop zone one again. Yes, please. Drop one again, zone one please. again, please, Ben. Come on, hit that jackpot. Go on, yes, That's that'll better. do it. That should do it, shouldn't it? It's going to hit the silver one and slide right. There you go. Lovely. Great. Just don't move that double too much. Just build them nicely. One more to go in. I'll go for one again. Drop some one, please. Just snuck past that counter. That's OK, I don't want the drop, double to drop yet. Not just yet, <laughs> no. <laughs> just building that bottom shelf up nicely. There's a lot of money there. Jackpot counter's right on the edge of the top shelf. It is. Back to the categories. Food and drink. Three counters again, please, Ben. I might as three. well. The American dish, Chicken Maryland, typically consists of fried chicken served with a cream gravy and garnished with which fruit? Apple, pear or banana? I've heard of it. Have you? Yes, I've heard of it. Never tasted it, never had it. I'll go with banana. Banana? Yes. Any reason? I don't know. I don't know why I've associated bananas with Maryland, but so that's, but for that's some the reason, reason you do. Yeah, yeah, for some okay, reason. We're going to go with banana then. Chicken Maryland, served with cream gravy and garnished, is it with banana? <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's amazing. It is amazing. Well done, Shaz. Keep the luck coming, because <laughs> we need to keep that jackpot coming forward, don't we? Right, so I'll go with drop zone one again. Drop zone one, please. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. That is not bad. As long as it stays on the jackpot, it doesn't move too far right. We slide away. A little nudge. Lovely. Seven counters, £350. The Fantastic. Money goes up nicely, up to 3200 Two more to go in. All right, drop zone one again, please. One again, please. Come on, Charles, bring it down. Just in from the left. Oh, wrong side. It is, isn't it? Shuffles a bit. One more. One more, drop zone one again, please, Ben. One up, please. Oh, that's the one. That's sure. better. Slide that black counter to the right and Come hit the on. second one. There you go. Get in there, yes. Nice. Is it going to push the double out? 
He does. Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> Five more across tipping points, so another £250. And the double went, so we can give you another 250 Takes us up to £3,700. Jackpot counts on the bottom shelf. We're getting it there, That's Chats. Good. We're getting That's there. Good. Let's have a look at the categories. Could I have science for three, please, Ben? Science for three. In the human body, which enzyme is responsible for the regulation of blood pressure? Trypsin, renin, or amylase? You know, I don't know. I think it's amylase. Renin is something to do with your stomach. Um, trypsin, I don't know. But amylase, it sounds about right to me. Should we go with amylase? Yes, we'll go with amylase. Go with amylase, please. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer amylase? Oh. It's renin. Is it renin? Yeah, amylase breaks down starch to do with Does your it? digestion. Oh. Okay, not to worry. Let's go back to the categories. Sport and music, you've saved the best till last, haven't we? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm <laughs> hopeless at sports and music. So do we um, go a little bit more cautious? No, there's no. no point. Three counters for sport, please. <laughs> Three for sport, please. <laughs> Which Scottish football club play their home matches at Easter Road? Hibernian, St Johnston or Aberdeen? Do you follow any Scottish football ever? No, no. Uh, I do follow football, but not Scottish football, unfortunately. Okay. So I'll go with Hibernian. Hibs? Yeah, we it up? Yeah. We're going to go with Hibs, please. Easter Road. Is that home ground of Hibernian? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Since 1893. A very lucky guess again. You found the right answer. That's all you need to do, Shaz. Find the right drops now to match it. Drop zone one again, please. Let's have one, please. Get out. <sighs> Ooh. Just didn't want to settle, did it? Hopefully, it should be flat. There's a nice yes, stack on the tipping point we can take down. Three or four there, maybe. Are they going to go or are they just going to stagger back? Four counters for you. £200, £3,900 in the machine. Two more to go in. Drops on one again. I've got to stay on it. One up, please. Come on, Shaz. Ooh, now, that black counter comes have over. A result there. Stay there. Is it going to shove it to the right or is it going to drive it forward? A little bit lateral. That's OK. Yes. One more to go in. Drop zone uh, one. Drop zone one again, please. Fire it up, please. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. If that silver one comes Let's down. See. Just there. Now, hit that silver one and move left. It's going to get right behind it, Shaz. Right behind Ooh. it. 100 pounds drops in. Takes us up to 4,000 pounds in the machine. Your jackpot counter is on the tipping point. One category left. I need to get this right, don't I? <laughs> yes. Right. That would make things a lot easier if you did. I'll go for three counters, please. Music for three. Which of these songs did not receive null point? for the UK at the Eurovision Song Contest. Embers, Cry Baby, or Flying the Flag for you. Do you like Eurovision? I think the last time I watched it was when um, ABBA won with Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll go for Cry Baby. Any reason? Gut instinct. Gut instinct. Yes. Cry Baby? Cry Baby. Light up Cry Baby, then. So one of those songs did not get null point. Is the answer Cry Baby? Oh, flying the flag. Was it flying yeah. the flag? Yeah. Maybe I should have watched more. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, look, we're out of questions and categories, Shaz, but it's not over. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with £10,000. As things stand, you've got £4,000. You can walk away with that money right now, or you could trade it for three final counters, put it in the machine, in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, keep your mystery prize, but nothing else has any value. You leave with £10,000, or you leave with no cash whatsoever. Shaz, do you think three would be enough? It may only take one, but I think I'm going to leave with £4,000. OK, so I'll ask you one last time. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'll take the money, please. Well done, Shaz. <laughs> £4,000 is a lovely <laughs> amount much. of money. It really is a lovely <laughs> amount of money. You've done a great job, and I'm sure we'll go a long way towards sorting out the flat and a lovely donation to the yeah. charity. I'm sure the heart's going to start going if you're taking the trade, though. And we're going to play it out and see what might have happened. Oh, right. OK, let's Angie go. And you decided to go for it. <laughs>
Drop one. Very little action on the jackpot counter. Drop two. Would have come down to your last one. Oh, oh, little nudge. This was the third and final drop. Oh, Shaz! I think it would have happened. Oh, Shaz! Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh I'm no. sorry. Still, I'm happy with, with what I've got. With £4,000? Really. Yes, I'm happy with yeah, that. Yes, it's been a great be. day. You've treated me really well. It's been fantastic. You've been great fun. I've <laughs> loved it. You're leaving me £4,000. And, of course, you've won your musical brunch as well, Shaz. Oh, yes, absolutely. Thank you fantastic. so much for coming in. It's Thank been lovely to meet you. Thank you very much for having me. It's been Our wonderful. Pleasure. Amazing. Day. There you go, Shaz is leaving with £4,000. He's got a lovely prize. If he'd just been willing to take the trade, if he just wanted to put it all on the line, he'd be leaving with £10,000 because it came out on the third trade down to heartbreak. Join us next time in the fate of three more players. We're hanging the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.